Let us try an example to determine the nominal cover of an RC foundation. The foundation has the reinforcement bar size of 25 mm. It is designed for a 100 year lifespan. Its concrete grade is grade 30 and it is cast on site. You may pause the video for a while and try to solve it yourself. So, first of all, you will have to refer to Euro code clause 4.4.1, equation 4.1, which states that your nominal cover will be the minimum cover plus the deviations. And this minimum cover, you will be the maximum of the bar size and the durability cover and also the 10 mm. So let us try to do this example. First of all, you need to identify the size of the reinforcement bar, the, which is 25. According to the equation here, your C minimum due to the bar, it will be equals to the diameter of the bar. Therefore, C minimum bar will be equals to 25. And your design lifespan is 100 years and your concrete grade is 30. So you will have to refer to table 4.4. You have to refer to this table. Okay, there are two identical tables here. The first table is for a typical reinforced concrete structure. The second table, which is table 4.5, is meant for pre stressing seal. So you have to be careful not to use table 4.5, instead, you should use table 4.4. So you're always going to start with S4 and you know that you know that the foundations is referring to XC2. That means it will be this category and you will start with grade 4. And then when you refer to table 4.3 it is stated that your design would lie for XC2 for the 100 years, you will have to increase the class by 2. And your concrete strength is 30, which is less than 35. Therefore, you do not need to reduce the class. So this is not applicable, this is not applicable, and this is not applicable. Therefore, you will have to increase the class by 2. So go back to table 4.4. Initially, you are on S4. Now you increase by 2. It will be S6. And according to the grade of XC2, your concrete cover for the durability, it will be 35. So back to this equations. Now this part will be equal to 35, this one equals to the size of the reinforcement bar which is 25 and this is a 10. So from here you will know that your C mean will be determined by this as it is the largest of the three components. So your C mean will be equal to 35. And how about your deviations? Your deviations is actually determine whether it is cast on site. So when it is cast on site, your C mean, your C deviations will be equals to your C deviations will be equals to 10 mm. So with that, you will know that your C mean is governed by these three components: one, two, three. The largest of the three components will be 35. So 35 plus the deviations, then your C nominal will be equals to 45 for the RC foundation. 
Let us try another example. This example is regarding the external beam. Where the reinforcement bar size is equal to 20, design life 50, concrete grade 40, and they are cast in the factory with high uh, uh, quality assurance. Again, you may pause the video and try to solve it yourself. So, following uh, the same steps, you will have to refer to equation 4.1 and 4.2. It is stated that your bar size is 20. That means this C mean B will be equals to 20. Then the next one is you need to get this C mean durability. C mean durability you will have to refer to table 4.4 and also table 4.3 so it is stated that your design life is 50 years and your concrete strength is 40 and it is cast in the factory and with a very high quality assurance so you refer to table 4.3 this will be applicable and this will be applicable as well for the high quality of concrete then you have to decide which exposure class that you are referring to and then you will know that the exposure class for the typical beam especially external beam it will be xc3 so go back to the go back to this table you will be xc3 and the strength class 40 which is greater than 35 will reduce the class by 1 and because of the high quality assurance of the casting productions then the class strength the class classification can also be reduced by 1 so go back to table 4.4 initially it is s4 now you reduce by 2 it will be equals to 15 that means your c mean for durability will be equals to 15 then you choose the biggest of the three number so the first number for the bar is 20 15 and 10 that means your C mean will be equals to 20 and then don't forget about the deviations since that it is cast in the factory with high quality assurance that means your deviations will be equals to 5 so all in all it will be 20 15 10 the maximum of the three it will be C mean B 20 plus the deviation of 5 then your nominal cover required will be 25